is counter punching going to be? Is is that like one of the main key? What is the keys to why he's going to separate himself? I think um, take away Spence's best attribute. His best attribute is his jab. So um, he take away his jab. I think it, it can be an easy night. Do you think we see him fight right handed more to take away that jab than we're used to seeing Bud? He's usually southpaw. I think either way he can take away the jab, but um, it all depends on Bud. But honestly, when Bud turns southpaw, uh, he get the job done. So I like him being southpaw. Are hey, this fight, is, this, is this fight tomorrow? Is this fight tomorrow going the distance? Uh, nah, I don't think he's going the distance. Right. Who you like? You like you like Bud? You like Bud? Like Cross by knockout. You got a round? You got a round? Cross by knockout. Let me get it. 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 Let me uh, uh, would be, would be a great fight, Earl Spencer and Crawford. I think would be a, 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 a hard fight for every, every for all fighters. But I think, I think uh, Crawford has experience. Crawford has technician. I think, I think Crawford will be, we, we win the fight. Like Crawford's counterpuncher or Spencer's pressure. I like both of them. What I'm saying, Crawford's counterpuncher should be good early, but Spencer. So, like I said, it's a 50-50. It's who can dominate the most in their time. The early time to blow the coffin. The late time, coffin blow the fence. So, who can dominate the most in their time? It's going to be who wins the fight. Uh, anyone I play by knockout, if, if Earl wins by knockout, it'll be late, I think, in my opinion. If Chance wins any time by knockout, because Chance is a different type of fighter. He's just looking, whereas Earl is a pressure fighter. You know, pressure means you start now, but you benefit later. You don't expect a pressure fighter with an early knockout. Mayweather can beat you backing up. He was so magnificent defensively. He hit and not get hit. Both of these brothers gonna hit, but they don't know how to run. And as a result, they gonna be there to get hit. And I think that's what's gonna make this an epic fight. Which one would you rather fight? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Ask. I got to see Crawford. Yeah. No, I'd rather fight again. Hey, Sam. 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 This guy's awesome. That's the problem. Spence is the draw because this guy is. He fights in the self-preservation spectrum. Protection first. He gets you discouraged and then he hits you. But yeah, Spence is going to come right at you because that's going to be a difficult time. Is that easier to figure out? Yes, yes. He's right there. You're able to hit him. This guy is really hard. Really hard to hit Crawford. Uh, I feel like this fight is really going to be like something like if y'all miss this fight, it's crazy. You can't, you can't miss a fight like this. Obviously, you being in the camp, just tell us things that you've seen Bud do. Uh, did he step it up in this camp? You feel like, or is this every camp that you guys... Nah, this camp was definitely different, man. He was doing trainings on top of trainings, recoveries. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to get ready for another training. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't see Terrence in, in this much shape in camp when I was in camp with him. Ever. You know what I'm saying? And he still had what two more weeks to get ready to get in shape and still do extra preparation, recovery and stuff like that. So Terrence is definitely more than more than ready. They're gonna do something special Saturday night. And uh I'm looking forward to that immediate rematch because I think it's gonna mean something. Uh Definitely if this fight goes the distance. So you think that this fight is going to be so close, and, and I know that they have a rematch clause on both sides, but do you think that the fight is going to be, it sounds like you're telling me that the fight is going to be close, that it's going to warrant a rematch regardless. That's how I see it, but let's say it goes five rounds. Both of these fighters are known for making adjustments. And so let's say Arrow knocks out Terrence in five rounds. That immediate rematch clause, it could actually go the opposite way because both of them have shown that they can make adjustments. You telling me that you got a whole camp to get ready for something, you're not gonna make that adjustment and get out of that fifth round and do something different and you win in the sixth round? It's possible. This is the best two welterweights left. They've eliminated the competition. And you know, we got a couple young guys that's in the rear that's waiting on their opportunity. But right now, these are the two best welterweights in the world, man. And uh, I'm just glad that they didn't wait. That the time is now this Saturday where we're gonna crown an undisputed champion. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner, man. But I think the fans are gonna benefit, the boxing fans. In 2023, you gotta think PBC, man. Uh, this has been an amazing year for boxing. Amazing year for boxing, and they're making the matches that people want to see, man. So I'm hoping that this trend gets infectious, and everybody want to do the big fight. I got a big shirt on, y'all. One round, Mel. One round, Mel. One round, Mel. Oh, it's man This man's overcome so many things. I mean, that's not normal. I mean, he's survived the car crash, came back, eye surgery, came back. This man can't be defeated, so that's inspiring in itself. And he got, he got. Uh, I mean, if you see him train, he's an animal as well. So uh, all those qualities about him really inspire me, push me to keep the game better as a fighter. What is it like being a part of, of, of a fight weekend and being, you know, you know you're going to be at the fight with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. You obviously were front and center in April, what a massive event that was. But is it nice to be able to just go and enjoy it as a fan instead of as a fighter? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I don't feel the pressure, so I'm good. <laughs> How do you see the fight playing out with Errol Spence, Jr. and Terrence Crawford? I feel like Arrow's gonna, uh, he's just gonna do what he does. You know, he's gonna put that pressure on him. He's gonna start getting to him in the later rounds. It's gonna be a good fight, but I think Spence obviously gonna win by decision. I think by unanimous, but we'll see. You know, it's gonna be good. I mean, Ter Terry's a bad man too, but I got I got Arrow. So. It's hard to say win because, like they say, Earl is a pressure cooker. We're gonna get better as the fight goes on. Uh, Terrence is a good fighter from the start, but. Like I said, sometimes he likes to wait and figure out where he gets started too. I right, to fix him. So, how quick he starts and how quick Earl gets started is what will determine how the fight goes. The first fight could end in a draw because both of them are very smart guys. And the way they fight, their styles are kind of opposite because one gets warm and picks you up, the other just start cooking. And he don't give a damn what it is, he cooking anyway. So, when you know that, you got to that's a good damn fight on paper. And I can't wait to see it. I can't tell you who might win, I don't know why, but I like, I like Paul's chances earlier than I like Earl's, but as the fight get on, I like Earl's chances better because Earl is a person. Alfred versus Errol Spence. Oh, it's such a good fight, man. If, let's hope it, ha it happens. Um, i got to give the edge to, to Crawford, man. Just, just, yeah. That, that, that be able to switch, go to South Orthodox. Um, I think can catch Spence off guard a few times. And we saw Spence, we saw Spence get hurt against Ugas, um, which, you know, tends to, to, to say that, you know, if you catch him well, it can hurt him as well. But let's just get him in the ring, man. Let's do it. I want to see it. Crawford versus Errol Spence. That's a tough one to call, too. I don't know. I don't know about that fight. But I favor um, Crawford a little bit more that fight. But then again, you don't know. You don't know about that. That's why it makes it a super fight. Thoughts on uh, the Crawford versus Spence fight. And who who wins that fight, man? Can you break it down for us? They're both scared of each other. They're both southpaws. Two fights, some fights with two southpaws always sucks. Um, and everybody's expecting something that isn't going to happen. Well, that's true. Okay. They're expecting it to be the best fight ever, but it's... I mean, what makes you say it? I mean, why do you think we think it's going to be a letdown? Two southpaws. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more fights. Two southpaws that are okay, scared wait. of each other. Right. 
I, you know, I, I don't know. I think they're going to bring it, though, bro. I think they're going to bring it, bro. Two southpaws that are scared of each other. The fight with Errol Spence, and, and, and I think Bob, you fans will understand this uh, comment. I think Crawford's the best fighter in the world. I think Spence might be the best welterweight because he's naturally a bigger man, which makes for a great fight. When they fight, who do you like? don't win. Size don't win nothing. I, I'm a living proof of that. I'm for everybody sure of me. I'm sure of everybody fight. Nah, beat that ass. So, <laughs> I Sam Peter. I Sam Peter. So yeah, if they fight, who would you like Spence Crawford? You know, everybody know who would win that fight. He's like Errol Spence. Okay. Errol you know, Spence, he'd he, 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 he be, he be, he be looking at me and knock up on the six rounds. Questions look, for look, James Tony? Don't get me wrong, Errol Spence is a tremendous fighter. But he's just not on Crawford's level yet. Yeah. Come on, Spitty, you know better than this. Well, I've had him number one for five years, so I, I know, Man, I know. Come on, dog. I'm trying come to make on, it entertaining. Get up out of here. <laughs> More fights to go to that level, but he's right there at that level. Uh, I can see him getting that victory. I can see him definitely right getting that victory. I can see him getting that victory. Okay. You know, because. <laughs> That's a tougher fight for me. That's a much bigger man on fight night. Um, much, much different style, you know, um, in terms of strength and in terms of size differential on fight night. Errol presents much more of a problem than uh, than Terrence does. Than Terrence does. That one I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence with. You know, I'm on the fence with that one. If they were fighting today, I'd say Aaron. Um, Spence versus Crawford. You said that Spence. Yeah. So, you, so you talking about the decision with Spence and Crawford now? Yeah. yeah. And not, not. We're not talking about boots. Well, I'm, I'm bouncing That's off the fact that you said that um, Spence gives Jerron Boots and is a harder time. Does that mean he's? Does that mean he's the better fighter between him and Crawford? That doesn't. That doesn't mean that he's the better fighter. That just means my opinion is I see Errol winning the fight. That doesn't mean, you know, you know, stylistically, maybe somebody looks at uh, Terrence and thinks he, he boxes better, he's a better fighter. I don't know. You know, that's just my opinion. And that's what boxing is. And see, that's people don't realize and understand. This is not like the other sports, football, basketball, baseball. The points go on the board. The home run gets hit, we know what it is. The three-pointer gets shot, we know what it is. Boxing is someone else's opinion. At the end of the round, there's people sitting around that table and they're gonna give their opinion who they thought won that round. It may not be the same as your opinion, may not be the same as my opinion. And at the end of the fight, unless it's a knockout, you know, we may have a difference of opinion on who won the fight. Coach, let me get your opinion on a couple of more fights. We have uh, Jamel Charlo and Tim. Even though Spence went through what he went through, and, and, and Crawford, um, because Crawford and Spence haven't fought one another, doesn't mean this guy, these guys should be rated up there. Every time they they went out there, they done what they had they had to do. You know, Errol Spence go through some ups and downs throughout life, tragedies, and he still get through it all. And then the guy go out and. and uh, it, uh, Terrence Crawford, he go out there and do what he's supposed to do. Of course, he look good, but we we forget about these guys. We we don't talk about the, we Tank go out there and do what he got to do, and we we forget about these guys. And I'm not going to forget about my people, fighters that don't get their credit. You know, um, I just I'm just going to stand behind my people through it all. What fighter do you think? What fighter do you think? 